<clears throat> Friends and families, as COVID has become so rampant and so difficult, I am taking this position to show you what are the things that we are doing today in the ICU to help a lot of our patients. If you look at my feet, you look at my knees, my elbows, and my position. We are now in a difficult situation. We're having a hard time really delivering oxygen to our patients. We are having truly hard time treating our patients with respiratory failure on the ventilators. So what I showed you is one of the maneuvers that will help you move the oxygen into your lungs and move your lung secretions. So there are, th this position that I showed you at the beginning of this video helps you to send oxygen to the lower part of your lungs. COVID will attack the lower part of your lungs, seep out fluids that is as thick as glue, block the lungs, and lead to suffocation, literally, and respiratory failure. Many studies, without a shadow of a doubt, have shown that the best way that we can deliver oxygen is we, the ICU team, place patients in a position on their stomach. Even the better position is what I showed you at the beginning of this video, where you're on your hands and your knees, then you drop your elbows like this and you put your head down and you breathe in deep and you cough. This is called proning, proning, P-R-O-N-I-N-G, proning position, that position. Search it on the internet so you'll see even more illustrations and details, but that position is extremely effective in mobilizing all that gunk and thick secretions, glue-like secretions out of the bottom of the lungs, which is the bigger part of the lungs, out so you can cough it up. And that will recruit your lungs and protect your lungs from suffocating with COVID. Um, the hand washing, don't pick your nose, masks is extremely essential. And, and there are a lot of people who are talking about it, but what I'm talking to you about is from the heart of the intensive care unit. Yesterday was a sad day. We called it a DD. You hear about the D-Day in World War II? This is a D-Day for our ICU team. A lot of deaths occurred yesterday in our hospital from COVID. And it's not a joke and it's not a hoax. And I can tell you, we're not fabricating the data. You have doubts and you think we, the doctors are fabricating the data. You're entitled to that thought. Call me, I will take you and show you how people are unnecessarily dying because of this virus. So to protect you, if you get a lung complaints from that COVID, lay down on your stomach as much as you can, eight, 10, 12 hours a day. And if you can be on your hands and knees and put your hands down like this and put your head down so your back is going downwards, in yoga they call it downward dog, you can drain your lungs. The way to liquefy those secretions also you can drink ginger and curcumin that is um, sweetened with a little bit of natural honey. It will soften all those secretions and will come out. The reason we are seeing all those respiratory failures and the respirators in the ICU is because the lungs are being suffocated with that gunk and thick glue-like fluids and secretions and dead cells. So what we hope to do is we hope to move those and not trap them inside your lung and form a glue or like concrete that blocks your lungs, but move them, soften up with those secretions, with uh, uh, ginger and curcumin with sweetened honey, and move them by laying down on your stomach or even uh, in a uh, on your knees and your elbows and put your head down. And if you have a family member that know how to keep themselves protected from being too close to you, let them do a little bit of fine tapping on your chest and mobilize all those secretions. With this, I hope you stay safe. Yes, I am Dr. Rafai. I am a, a doctor here in Panama City, Florida, and I care for patients with acute COVID and in intensive care units of all our hospitals. Love you all, stay safe, share this because proning save lives in the ICU.
proning saves lives in the ICU. Love you all.